This video is about the best Fortnite PC optimization guide to help you get a crazy FPS boost on your system. This guide is safe, simple, and effective. And you can see a huge jump in your frames after applying these settings. On my older PC, I gained around 100 extra FPS, and on a high-end setup, the results can be even better. So if this video helps you, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Want super low ping in all the games? That's where Gear Up Booster comes in clutch. Download Gear Up Booster right now with the top link in my video description. It finds the best DNS servers near you to cut ping, fix lag spikes, and keep your game smooth and stable. And the best part? You can try it completely free. Before we start, a quick note on why this helps. Windows sometimes launches games without fully assigning all available CPU threads, especially on high core systems. For CPU sensitive titles, making sure the game can use all cores prevents bottlenecks and reduces stuttering. This method doesn't overclock anything. It just ensures the game can use the CPU resources you already paid for. Step one, download the utility I'm using. The file is linked at the top of the description of my this video, so go there and download this tool from my website. It's a small, safe program called Run With Affinity. Download the zip, extract the folder to your desktop or any folder you prefer, and keep that folder handy. Next, we need the game executable for Epic Games and Steam. Installs the path is usually C Drive, Program Files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64, Fortnite Client Win64 shipping.x. If you installed elsewhere, browse to your Fortnite folder and find the main shipping.x file. That's the one we want to launch with Affinity. Now simple copy the path from here. Open the Run with Affinity program. You'll see an option to select the program, click the three dots, and navigate to the Fortnite executable you just found simple paste here. The copied path and double click it to load it into the tool. Now the program knows which game you want to launch. Now look at the processor or affinity section. If your CPU has eight cores and 16 threads, you'll see up to 16 logical processors. Drag the slider to select all available cores or select the highest number from this list so the game can use every thread. For most users, selecting the maximum available value is the right choice. This gives the game access to all CPU resources. With the game and affinity selected, choose the option to create a shortcut. You can name it something like Fortnite, full cores, and choose desktop as the location. There's usually an option to set the window state to maximized. That's handy for launching full screen. Click create shortcut. You should see a new desktop icon. That shortcut will now launch Fortnite with the affinity you set every time you use it. Don't just take my word for it, test it. Launch Fortnite using the new shortcut and play a few matches or jump into a performance heavy zone you will look a huge difference in your PC performance. Now, before ending this video, here is the last step, which is about how to get lower ping in Fortnite. To get started, first you need to download this free tool from the link in my video description. Once you download it, simply install it on your PC. After the installation, launch the program and you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first step is to log in using your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll see all the games currently installed on your PC. If you switch over to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of supported games that can be optimized. Now, let's optimize the connection for a game. Head back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. In my case, I'll choose Fortnite. Click the Boost button and Gear Up will automatically start optimizing the game. The software will scan and find the best possible server for you. Here you'll need to select your server region. Always pick the closest server for the lowest ping and best stability. For me, the middle server gives the best results. Now go to the node tab where you'll see a full list of available servers. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let gear up automatically select the most stable server. For most people, I recommend leaving it on automatic for the best performance and launch your game directly through gear up booster. From here, the tool will handle everything in the background, optimizing your network, reducing ping, and even improving FPS in Fortnite or any other game you play. And that's it. You're now set up with Gear Up Booster to enjoy smoother gameplay with lower latency. This complete guide will make your FPS higher and make your ping that will make your gaming experience a lot better. So make sure to try it and let me know your thoughts in the comments.